Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spud Knocker, as always, and today we're gonna hop back into the Harrier. Haven't hopped into the Harrier in a while, and take a look at building a flight plan within the INS system of the AV8B Harrier. This is an important skill to know if you wanna hop onto a multiplayer server and create a flight plan for you to follow on your way to the target, um, or to simply fly around the map, in the case of a aerobatic server or something of that nature. A lot of multiplayer servers, especially the larger ones, don't give you a pre-planned flight plan, and this will help you get started in those servers. Today we've got a cool little Spanish skin for the AV-8B, and all the skins that I use in my videos are always available for download at the user file section of the DCS World website. I think that's super cool that ED put that on there, and it is a really good repository of everything DCS World related made by the community. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and hop in the cockpit and get started. So one thing I will say before we get started here, and it caused a lot of confusion and a bit of frustration for me when I first started to try and do this in the Harrier, was at least one waypoint has to be placed on the map in the mission editor for this to work correctly. So that's something for mission designers to take note of. They need to have at least one waypoint on the map for Harriers. So we'll go ahead and move over to our EHSD here. We'll go ahead and turn the map on. We'll zoom in a little bit so it makes it a little bit more readable on YouTube here. With the map on, we can see everything really well and uh, know where our waypoint is actually being placed on the map. Now, we are going to input these in la longitude latitude coordinates. And to get latitude and longitude coordinates, you can simply open the F10 map. And we're going to make a flight plan to fly out and hit these couple trucks out here on the UAE's bombing range. So you can see up in the top left of the F10 map, you can see the coordinates, as well as the altitude of where your map is pointing, sorry, of where your mouse is pointing on the map. And I seriously recommend having a piece of paper here so that we can write down our coordinates of where we're going to fly. So that way we can easily input that into the INS of the Harrier without having to flop back and forth between the map and our cockpit. So let's see, let's come up with a flight plan here. Ah, there's our Harrier. So I think we're going to fly straight out into the desert here a little bit, just to avoid the city. So we'll go ahead and write down our first waypoint, which will be waypoint 2 in our INS. Right about right there. So we'll go ahead and write down 250201 north and east. 055-3717. So that'll be kind of our first navigational waypoint. Then we're going to fly up north out here towards Al Dehaid. And why don't we go ahead and put a waypoint right on top of Al Dehaid out here. That'll be a really easy navigational point uh, because it's a nice big city kind of out in the middle of the desert so it should be pretty hard to miss. So we'll put waypoint 3, we'll write this down, north 25-16-54, and east 055-5240. So that'll be our second navigational waypoint, and we'll go ahead and place our initial point, or IP, and we'll go ahead and put this guy right around here. So we'll just select right there. Now, and we'll move it a little bit south so it's not quite as hard of a turn. Now, your initial point's important and a really important one to place because that's like your final waypoint you reach before you kind of roll in and get ready to attack your target. So before you hit your initial point, you always want to make sure you have your weapons set up, your countermeasures set up, all that good stuff. This idea applies to all aircraft in DCS World. 
probably including the helicopters, even though I'm not a rotor head myself. So we'll go ahead and put waypoint four. Whoops, accidentally zoomed out a little bit, but that's not a problem. And we'll put north 25, 26, 21, east 05555, 05555, 08. Okay, so our target waypoint will be waypoint 5 in our INS system. And we'll place it right in the middle of our trucks here. T uh, you should note that if you zoom way in on the map, your coordinates will be more accurate. So we'll put waypoint 5, put a TP next to it for target point on my little sketch pad here. And we'll put 25, 28, 25 again, north of course, and east. 055-5131-5131. Okay, that's target point five. And then once we're done hitting the target, we'll go ahead and fly pretty much southwest back to our airport here. So we'll put waypoint six lining up with the runway here at about, about right here. Why not? So waypoint six is north two five zero one four zero east zero five five two seven two four. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and put a waypoint back on top of Al Minha here. Um, if you are feeling a little lazy, don't want to put in too many waypoints, you can of course recycle your waypoints back to waypoint one as we have waypoint one placed right on top of Al Minhad runway right here. Um, but for grins, why don't we go ahead and write that one down. So waypoint seven or our home plate waypoint will be north 250137 east. Alrighty. Now that we've got our waypoints written down on our knee board here, uh, or your sketch pad, we can go ahead and hop back into the cockpit and start inputting those waypoints into our computer. Alrighty. So now that we're back in the AV8 cockpit, we can go ahead and go to data and we can see that waypoint one is already placed and that waypoint should be right in the middle of the runway over there. Now to input new waypoints, we're gonna want to go to data, which is this button right down here in the lower portion of the EHSD page. Then we're gonna want to put in a number that is higher than the current number of waypoints in the system. Now some other DCS YouTubers have uh, suggested just putting in 77, because that's gonna be a pretty high number of course, and just hitting enter. I think that's a pretty good idea, so we'll go ahead and copy that. So asterisk for waypoint two. That's perfect. We'll grab our knee board here and we'll go down and hit position. We'll hit north for north and we'll go ahead and put two five zero two zero one. Enter. Now you see the map went black there. That's because we only have one set of coordinates in. Once we put in the east set of coordinates or our longitude, we will be able to see the map come back up now that we have an actual point on the map to show. So don't worry if the map goes black, it's supposed to do that. So we'll go ahead and hit position again. We'll go ahead and hit east. And then to keep in the format of these type of coordinates, we have to put in a preceding zero before the five five. That's why you heard me say 0553717 instead of simply 553717 even though it showed just a 55 in the top left corner of our F10 map. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and put 0553717 enter and now that we've got two sets of coordinates in it pinpoints us on the map and puts in our waypoint. Perfect. 
So now we'll go ahead and back out of the data page, go back in, and we can see that waypoint 2 is still there. Perfect. So to, to enter another one, we'll hit 77 again, enter, asterisk 3 for waypoint 3. This is going to be our first navigational waypoint on our way to our target. So we'll go ahead and hit position. We'll hit position again to get our north coordinate. We'll put in N and then we'll put 251154. 251154. Enter. The screen went black again. Good sign. Means we're putting in the correct right type of coordinate numbers. Bit position again. Hit east. 055240. Enter. And now we've got our next waypoint. So we'll go ahead and speed this up uh, so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me put in every single coordinate. But uh, I'll show you the outline of our flight plan once we get done. Okay? So I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, now that we've got our last waypoint put in, we'll go ahead and scroll through our flight plan and show you guys that our waypoints went pretty much where we were looking for. So we'll go ahead and go back to map N and we'll put north up to make it a little bit more legible on the map, just like we were looking at it when we looked at the F10 map. So we'll go ahead and scroll through these guys. Waypoint 1, of course, is right in the middle of the runway. Waypoint 2 is out here. Uh, our navigational waypoint coming off the runway. Waypoint 3 is up here on that town. Waypoint 4, our initial point. Waypoint 5, our target point, where those trucks are that we want to bomb. Waypoint 6, our navigational point lining us back up with the runway here at Almin Had in the Persian Gulf. And of course, waypoint 7, back at home plate. So that's a pretty easy way and expl quick explanation of creating your own little um, flight plan in the INS system of the Harrier. And like I said before, if you're a mission maker, you're going to need to actually put a physical waypoint on the map in the mission editor in order to get the INS systems of the AV-8B Harrier to work correctly. Like I said before, this was a cause of a lot of frustration when I first fired up the Harrier to try and, and put in coordinates. Uh, because I wasn't placing a waypoint on the map. You need to have a waypoint one on the map in order to create your own uh, waypoints after that. So another cool thing, so we'll come back to our target waypoint. We know our trucks are about in this area, but if we have a JTAC on the ground and he tells us maybe those trucks moved uh, and he gives us some different coordinates, we can then adjust that waypoint. And there's a cool way we can adjust that waypoint. We can actually use the TDC so we'll go ahead and put TD switch, TDC sensor switch left to choose our uh, EHSD here. And then we can use the TDC to slew that waypoint around. So say the trucks, maybe they moved north a bit and to the west a bit. Now, of course, you can move this uh, a larger distance or a smaller distance based on the scaling of the map. Um, so we could actually move it hundreds of miles super quickly or maybe one or two miles relatively quickly, depending on our zoom on the map. Of course, we can change the zoom with our scale button here. So as you see, we can zoom in way, way in. And we get a representation of the coordinates we're looking at here. So we can always check the So we'll just pretend our trucks moved somewhere in this general area, and we'll go ahead and leave it at that. Now to save that waypoint in that area, we'll go ahead and just hit data again, and it should be there. We'll go back into data and check our target waypoint 
and see, saved in the same place that we moved it with the TDC. Our original target waypoint was down around the M in Al Kahama. Uh, I probably butchered that. So that's a quick overview of creating your own waypoints in a mission that doesn't have a flight plan for you in the Harrier. A lot of these same things pretty much apply to any other DCS World aircraft. Of course, the input of the waypoint coordinates into the INS systems are going to be very different. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and fly safe.